Today, I would like to take you on a little journey. A problem-solving journey, that is. Let's take a look at the following problem. It says a right circular cone has a radius of 3x plus 6 and a height 3 units less than I guess its radius. Express the volume of the cone as a polynomial function. The volume of a cone is that v is equal to 1 3rd or the volume is equal to 1 3rd times pi times the radius squared times the height. Great. So first thing is, whenever you're going to problem solve, right, and you come along on this journey, what you want to do is you want to have a picture. Okay, you want to actually put yourself in the problem, think about the problem, and try to conceptualize it, all right? And sometimes jotting things down helps. So the first thing I'm going to put down is the right circular cone. So let's draw it out. Bam, and there it is. That is a right circular cone. Now, what makes that a right circular cone? Well, a couple of things. So if I were to draw a vertical here, this would represent the height of the cone. And this will represent the diameter right now of the base. They would create a right angle to one another. All right, in other words, that they're going to be perpendicular. So it's a right, right angle, circular, circular base, cone, cone. Cool. So what do we know in this problem? Well, it tells us that the radius of the base is going to be, it doesn't say base, but that's the only radius in the problem, right? It's a circular base. So that's going to be 3x plus 6. So I know that the length from this point all the way on over to that point is going to be 3x plus 6. Then it tells me something about now the height, right? It tells me that the height of the cone is going to be 3 units less. Well, 3 units less than what? Well, then the radius. Okay, so basically this length right here, the height, is going to be 3x plus 6, the length of the radius, that is, minus than 3. And the reason for that is because the height is 3 units less than the radius. So it's the radius minus 3. Now you can simplify this. It's very simple, right? This should work out to be 3x, 3x plus now 3, because you're just doing 6 minus 3. All right, so this is really now the height. So now what you have to do is you have to create a polynomial function that expresses the volume, okay? So now that I have my picture laid out and with details and all the values on in, what I now need to do is write the volume equation on out. So it tells me that the volume of a right circular cone is equal to one third times pi times the radius squared multiplied then by the height. So my question is, the only thing, my question is what's the radius? I was going to ask a question, and then I started with a statement, and I'm like, well, like i got to ask a question. So the question is, what's the radius? What's the radius? Well, the radius is 3x plus 6. So you just plug that in, 3x plus 6 squared. And then what's the height? The height is 3x plus 3. 3x, let's make that a little neater, 3x plus 3. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is a polynomial function, okay? Now... I don't know if you need that function in a certain form. This is it basically in factored form. I don't know if you need it in more of a standard form. Who knows, right? I, I don't know. But this would be the polynomial function. Okay, if you wanted to find, you know, the the uh, x cubed value, basically, it's going to be a cubic. Um, you can FOIL this, and then you'd have to multiply it and distribute it into that factor as well. And you'd eventually get these x cubes in there. Uh, but you don't need to. I don't see why you would. Um, but who knows? In any case, this would be a valid answer. That's the polynomial function, all right? So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming along on the journey. All right, and if you're still with me, and if you want to do me one quick favor, like and subscribe. And even more importantly, tell some of your classmates and your friends. We'd love to help more people. We're overjoyed by the comments we get and every all the positivity you guys give us. Thank you so very much. It provides us the motivation to keep going, and uh, we wouldn't be here without you. So thank you again. Take care.